In this video, you're gonna learn three effective ways to transfer files from PC to PC or from laptop to PC, or even when your PC share only one monitor. So first, if both of your PCs are working fine and you happen to have a USB drive or external disk, you don't need software to do the transfer. If there are just a couple of documents, photos and videos, USB or external drive remains the simplest option. You plug it in, copy your files and then plug it into a new PC to paste them. It's offline, quick for small batches and doesn't require an internet connection. However, there are drawbacks. Manual transfers can be slow and limited, especially if you're moving more than just a few files and the drive is nearly full. Then you need to consider other options. And there are cloud drives, Google Drive, OneDrive, you name it. This is a great for sharing work files with colleagues and accessing files remotely. Upload from PC A, download on PC B. It's quite convenient for remote access. You can start the process at the office and finish at home. However, it's entirely reliant on your internet speed, which means moving hundreds of gigabytes can take hours. Also, they limit the storage space for the free trial, which is not friendly for people who need to transfer a large amount of data, and like USB external hard drives, they only support a few specified file types. So what if you got way too many files, maybe you actually want to move everything from your old PC? What if your old PC is damaged or you only got one monitor for two machines? Well, that's where isostore.pc trans comes in. It lets you transfer all your data, files, programs, settings directly from one PC to another. And what's even better is it offers multiple transfer modes. So whether you've got a stable network connection, no network at all, or even if one of your computers just won't boot, you can still get everything moved safely. Alright, now that you know what it can do, let me show you step by step how to actually move everything to your new PC. There are three main ways to move your programs to a new computer without changing their files or settings. Transfer via backup, transfer directly, and transfer via disk. Transfer via backup. This method gives you control over exactly which apps you move. Create a special backup file that holds your chosen programs and their custom settings. Copy this file to an external drive, like an external hard drive or a USB stick. Move the backup file to your new computer. Restore everything, all your programs and settings from the file on the new PC. Transfer directly. On the old laptop, open the utility, select transfer directly and click next. Crucially, leave the program running. On the new laptop, launch the same utility and choose. This is a new PC. Select transfer directly and then connect via network. While connecting with a cable is also an option, a network connection is generally recommended. Finally, click connect. This will start the synchronization process between the two devices. Once connected, you will see a list of applications, categories as supported, unsupported and existing. Supported tabs are those that the utility can successfully move to the new PC. Unsupported tabs are typically drivers or programs that are already installed on the new computer. If you wish to ensure that the previous settings for these existing programs are retained, you may need to uninstall them from the new PC and then repeat the transfer process. After reviewing the list, select the specific applications, files or even account settings you wish to migrate and then choose Transfer Now. Big benefit, when the transfer is done, your program will be ready to use. A huge plus is that you usually won't need to re-enter your license key for software like Office or Adobe apps. Transfer via disk. This approach is best if your old computer won't turn on or boot up, but its hard drive still works. Connecting the old hard drive to the new computer typically using a SATA adapter. Because the drive is recognizable, you are still able to recover and restore your files and apps on the new system, even though the original OS won't start. And that's all for this video, hope you find the best way to transfer your data, I'll see you next time.